from DAFWA working on the agronomy jigsaw project. Trenching is uh, very similar to something which CIRO developers in irrigation cotton. They called it gypsum slotting in about the early 1980s. The machine created slots at about half a metre to one metre spacings and those slots went in to a depth of about 40 to 50 centimetres. The idea was for the gypsum to fall down and be incorporated within these slots and certainly we were able to see quite major yield increases. Principles on the south coast are really the same. We've got areas with sodic subsoils which are prone to dispersion. So we know that if we can get gypsum into our subsoils, that'll allow water to drain more freely. And also in the process, we may be able to reduce the salt burden in these soils and reduce transient salinity. The other thing is that by intensifying the, the effect of gypsum, you're really not trying to overcome sodicity over a, a wide area, but you're trying to narrow the focus to areas. In order to prove the concept here, we had to look at a slightly different way of doing this. And the way which we came up with was using a, a trenching machine which actually uses an auger to auger soil out and also we could incorporate the gypsum into the augered area then refill it to create a, a slot. At the trenching site northeast of Esperance it's got about 20 to 30 centimetres of sand over a very sodic clay. Three treatments were put in. The first treatment is uh, deep ripped and then trenched to 50 centimetres. You get two metre spacings between each of the trenches. The second treatment was deep ripped, then trenched also to 50 centimetres, but with three tonnes per hectare of gypsum applied and mixed evenly within the trenches. And then the third treatment is no ripping, but trenching to 30 centimetres, so it wasn't mixed throughout the trench, it was just three tonnes per hectare of gypsum placed in on top of the clay layer.